Hello ladies and gents, welcome to a tutorial on how to easily install some of the best PC mods for eFootball Pro Evolution Soccer 2021. This guide is for complete beginners and as you gain in confidence of modding, you'll be able to build upon this and add some of the mods that perhaps aren't installed with this massive all-in-one package. But it's a great way to get into modding and PC gaming, especially for pairs because this is where you want to play the game, trust me. I mean, there's literally never been a better time to migrate to PC, especially if you have a PC capable of playing the game. This game is only £9.79 and I'll leave a link in the description where you can buy the game for this great price. I'll also be doing a showcase video on what this mod has to offer. The patch we're going to be looking at installing today is an all-in-one package and it's called Virtual Red. So let's just see what's included. So it does work with the download content 3.0. We get a bunch of new teams and we're also going to get national anthems for all the teams in the game and they've added 32 new master league coaches to the database which is very nice so you can have different coaches when you start your master league thousands of new faces we've got kits for pretty much all the teams and real badges we've got all the boots gloves and balls as well new graphics so scoreboards ad boards we've got 674 stadiums added we've also got goal songs and plenty more here as well and we've also got the uh Durandal's cutscenes mod version one which adds nearly 30 edited cutscenes and cameras so there's tons going on in this mod and i will leave a link in the description to this post here so just check that out and what you want to do is once you've logged in and you've accessed this post you will need to create an account if you haven't already done so just click the like button and that will open these links here where we can see the direct download links and what you're going to want to do is download all of these files that you're seeing here all of these and these and this one here so it's going to be a pretty big download so we're just going to start things off by clicking this link here and then clicking download. And I'd recommend just doing maybe two or three of these at a time. So I'd highly recommend a fresh install of Pez. And if you do, just launch Pez up and then go through the initial setup and then just exit out. If you have a copy of Pez installed already, just navigate to your Steam folder, go to Steam Apps, Common, and just delete everything in here if you have an existing copy especially if you have mods already installed and you want to try this out then I recommend just clearing literally everything out of this folder here that you're gonna see and also navigate to your documents page go to Konami and also delete the eFootball PES 2021 season update folder here if you're gonna start from fresh then install the game and then start modding as I'm going to show you now. So once you've downloaded everything, it should look something like this. So we've got the edit file. We've got the stadiums from 1 to 13. We've also got 14 bits of the virtual red patch. And we've also got the cider.any file. So the first thing you want to do is the first part, you just want to extract that. So just go extract here. Now this will take quite some time on your system depending how fast your system is. So I'd suggest going away and chilling for a bit. But for the purposes of this video I have trimmed this video down. So once it's finished extracting all of those you just want to run the exe file. So .exe with the little symbol here. Just run that. Click yes. Now you want to install this to the same folder as your eFootball PES 2021 installation so mine isn't in my C drive anymore it's in my F drive it's in Steam Steam Apps Common now during the time I was making this video I did actually select the eFootball PES 2021 folder which is actually wrong so just make sure you select the Common folder and then click OK. 
otherwise you're going to have to move the folder later on. Click next and then click install. For the purpose of this video again I'm going to trim it down but again just go away and make yourself another coffee. Okay once that's finished click the finish button and now we want to extract the virtual red stadiums part one just click extract here just click yes to the readme file overwrite again this is a really lengthy process so once again just go chill now we've got the stadium server folder ready and complete just right mouse click on that and click copy and then go back to your eFootball PES 2021 folder you want to go into the content folder and right mouse click and click paste so once stadium server is all copied over you just want to do a few more things now so go back to your downloads and you want to copy the cider.any file and go straight to your eFootball PES 2021 folder just copy it and paste it in here so right mouse click click paste and replace the file in destination finally go back to your downloads you want to extract the edit.ra so extract here tap yes and then this edit with lots of zeros you want to just copy that one navigate to documents Konami eFootball PES 2021 season update you gonna have a long number here just double click on that one click on save and then right mouse click and click paste so that ladies and gents is the end of the installation I'm gonna show you a few bits and bobs what you need to do in the game in terms of how to use cider but if you already know how to use that then you can skip this part but basically this installation required minimal effort there's no editing of the cider.any files or competition underscore team files or anything like that or matching IDs or anything like that really really simple patch which virtual red have put together really really well so thank you to that team over there for all your hard work and it's a case of just make sure that you launch the game from this shortcut that was automatically created during the installation process and you'll know if you've installed it correct because you get the uh, this different loading screen that you're seeing here so there we are virtual red patch now let me just explain how the cider works because a lot of people get confused with this and it is pretty scary you think oh my god green writing it looks like something out of the matrix but it's really not that difficult to understand so I'm gonna run through that very very quickly with you okay so if you start a master league everything will be pretty much set for you if you play in the pro league you'll have the sky sports coverage or maybe the BBC sports coverage you might jump between the two if you go to La Liga you have a different type of coverage again so different um, scoreboards etc all the stadiums will be set for you so if you're Manchester United you'll be playing at home at Old Trafford Liverpool you're gonna be playing at Anfield so on and so forth so if we go to local match select two teams you'll notice the the backgrounds change quite considerably and um, what you normally go to is the general settings right and change your your difficulty your time and minutes and extra etc but you'll probably notice that you can't change the football and that's because cider is in effect so what you need to do is press spacebar that will bring the green writing at the top of your screen and then if you press 1 this is the stadium server so at the top there it says cider 7.0.2 stadium server dot lewis so this is the stadium server part of the uh, part of the selection and you can change the time of day by pressing 3 so you can see there it's, it's day night default day night default so if you want to play it day if you want to change the weather 
uh, we can enforce rain or snow. So we can, you can see there where it says force rain or snow. It says forced. We leave that as default. Here we can obviously select the stadium. So it says press 9 to switch between using map assignments to manual selection. So we can press 9 and then up it, we can use the page up and page down keys to flick between the stadiums. So that is the stadium server pretty much and you can read the other options. You know, you can set your favorite stadium, etc. If we then press one again, this is the kit server. And then one again, and we go to the ball server. So here again, we can press 09 to switch between the manual selection. And then we can again use the page up and page down to select the football. So you don't do it in the game, you're using the cider to pick the ball that you want to use. And oh my goodness, there's so many balls. Press one again, and then we got the scoreboard server. So once again, we can just use nine to do manual selection because obviously this is a Premier League match. It already selected the one that we probably wanted to use, but you can see here we can change it to the EFL playoffs Sky Sports package. We can do the FA Cup. We can use BBC Sports. We can do Premier League, DAZN, ESPN. Sky Sports, BN Sport, BN Sport 2, 3, Canal Plus, so on and so forth. So this is your sort of presentation package you're going to get in the game. And again, you can press, um, you know, you can press 7 to set your favorite scoreboard. And then 8, you can immediately jump back to it. And obviously, if you want to deselect that and go back to automatic, just press 9 again. And it will go back to automatic map assignments. So if you're playing a Premier League game... It's going to choose the one of the you know probably Sky Sports package, I would imagine. So there we go. So that's how you side. I just press spacebar to hide it. Spacebar to bring it back. You've got the ref kit server as well. If you press one and so on and so forth, they're all the same. Just press nine and then page up and page down to flick between the kits. Goal songs. You can adjust the the volume. So when you score a goal. There'll be some music being played, so you can adjust the volume there. And uh, that's pretty much the cider explained. So hopefully that you guys found that useful. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. And hopefully you guys find this overall tutorial exactly what you're looking for. And hopefully you're going to get into modding and enjoy the game. But uh, like I said, I'm bring, bringing a showcase video out on this patch where you can check it out and get everything you ever really need for a master league thank you once again all for joining me and i look forward to seeing you guys in my future video don't forget to overhead to kick that like button and if you haven't already done so please please volley that subscribe button thank you very much and goodbye